On to a story you'll only see on Local 10 tonight. A family shocked by what happened at their loved one's funeral. And they have the video to prove it. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan is live with the exclusive. Todd. Lori and Calvin, this family tried so hard to make the service special to lay this young man to rest in a very dignified fashion. Unfortunately, it turned out not to be the case. Everybody's hurt and everybody's not at peace. The family of Thelford Rigby Jr. are upset over the botched burial of their loved one. Better known as Tommy, the 30-year-old had a severe weight problem and related health issues. So an oversized casket and gravesite was required. But when it came time to lay Tommy to rest, there was nothing but indignity. Somehow they had the wrong measurements and that's why the burial hole and the vault were too small. You know, mother's in pain, father's in pain. We're all in pain because we can't believe this is happening. Another painful insult was the hearse. Wright and Young couldn't use their hearses because they were too small. So they told the family they would get an all black or white cargo van, something tasteful. But a van like this one is what showed up at the service. A U-Haul, a U-Haul with U-Haul logo on it and the price on it. When we went to Wright and Young, they didn't want to talk to us on camera but later released a statement saying the staff of Wright and Young Funeral Home deeply regrets the transportation issue which occurred during the service of Mr. Rigby. Our management team has met privately with the family and expressed our most sincere apologies and regrets. They also blamed the too small grave site on Forest Lawn Cemetery. Today, the correct vault was in place and the grave wide enough for Tommy's casket. Private property, please turn that off. But cemetery security kicked us off the property. And Forest Lawn Memorial is fighting back against the allegation by the funeral home that it was their fault, saying in a statement the dimensions for the casket provided by the funeral home to Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens were not accurate and did not fit the standard size vault. Also, they're going to try and rebury Tommy tomorrow at 11 a.m. here. Unfortunately, family members that had come in from out of town will not be there when he's laid to rest. For now in Fort Lauderdale, Todd Tong, Local 10 News. Well, let's hope the second time around is better. Todd, thanks a lot.